Good afternoon and welcome to the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm your host, Raleen Marks, with today's top stories. Earlier today, children near a kindergarten in Kiryat Gat had to run for shelter as another cluster of terror balloons came drifting towards the school with um, explosives tied to them. Yesterday, we spoke about Hamas, who had said that their balloon unit which is a unit that is dedicated to sending these terror balloons from the Gaza Strip into Israel with the aim of um, destroying vast amounts of land as well as terrifying the citizens of southern Israel, said that they would be now attaching tear gas canisters to these balloons that would explode on impact. The teacher had to try and round up her kids after they ran fleeing for shelter and police were on the scene to dismantle any explosives and deal with the balloon. And this follows news that three rockets were fired towards southern Israel last night, landing in fields just outside the southern town of Netivot. Now, we've been speaking quite a bit about the coronavirus. It's affecting countries around the world. It's, it's creating a terrible humanitarian crisis. And uh, this is a, this as, uh, as per the World Health Organization. But today, news came out that the Diamond Princess, a cruise liner, was stranded off the coast of Japan after 10 people had to be evacuated with the coronavirus. There are about 10 to 14 Israelis who are known to be aboard and speaking to the news earlier today, they said that uh, while none of them had the coronavirus, they were very, very concerned about uh, possibly running out of food on the liner. The Israeli foreign ministry is cooperating with all authorities to try and see what the situation is for our citizens and whether or not they need to be evacuated. And this follows news yesterday that uh, humanitarian organizations, Magin David Adom as well as Israel Aid, are sending both supplies and PTSD trauma counseling to China to try help deal with the crisis. It was also announced earlier today that the Israeli, the Israeli Navy sorry, and uh, Defense Forces had intercepted a sea vessel just off the coast of southern Israel. The vessel was reportedly being used by Hamas to try and smuggle weapons from the Sinai Peninsula into the Gaza Strip to attack Israel. Those aboard who are found guilty or who are responsible for this were arrested and taken for questioning. So those are today's top stories. It's uh, short and brief, uh, just like I am. But uh, if you want more content, don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. You can read Ellen Wallman's assessment or opinion on the Trump peace plan and uh, how basically the Palestinian leadership have shot themselves in the foot while the rest of the Arab world open up to dealing with Israel. You can also check out out on our Facebook page and we are growing so make sure that you're a part of it by liking us or following us and uh, sharing our content and if you want to invite your friends to like and follow us too we like a good party and uh, we also have our news channel online on YouTube at the Israel Brief simply subscribe on it and you'll get your news as it is uploaded so with the Wednesday edition of a very short Israel Brief I'm Raleigh Marks. We'll chat again tomorrow.